Well, here we go. I'm, well, first I'm... of all, thank, thank you very much uh, for thinking of me. It's a great honor, a great uh, privilege, and uh, I can't tell you how nice it is to be out of the house. Well, we're so, so glad that you're here. And you even put on the nice shiny shoes. Thank you. Just yes. beautiful. New shoes. Great. Well, I'm going to start with a question that I know every single person in this audience would like to know the answer of, which is, what did you do today? What do you do now? Well, uh, what I did today is uh, different from what I do now. Uh, today, I got up um, at the crack of dawn and uh, very excited about this event. And uh, we have two dogs, uh, uh, yellow labs. Uh, one's name is Dutch, one's name is Sully. And uh, I took them <clears throat> for a long run. And that's, <clears throat> for dog owners, you understand that that's uh, a euphemism. <clears throat> <laughs> And uh, we got that taken care of. Uh, and then I myself went for a, a long run. Mm. Uh, with, and that isn't a euphemism, by the way. <laughs> uh, and then I got on a train and I came to uh, the greatest city in the world. And, and here I am in this uh, lovely theater talking to you folks. Thank you again. OK, <laughs> good. I'm sure this whole audience is, is, is familiar with your mother, and I, I wanted to ask you how she is. My mother is uh, 95 years old. Fantastic. And she still plays handball twice a week. <laughs> we, just, we just had, uh, oh, I, I'll tell you a story about mom. Uh, and God bless mom, you know, it's, it's mom, and uh, God bless her again. But uh, mom's 95, so we all go to mom's house for her, her birthday. Now, uh, she has uh, five grandkids. Uh, her favorite is my son, Harry. Uh, so we're all there, and, and one of her uh, uh, grandkids uh, is, a, is a woman who has a, a, a cooking book in, this, like, Edible, Ohio, or something, I don't know. She loves food, and she's very good at it. So uh, her birthday gift to my mother, this was in August, is a, a tub, sort of not unlike that, but squattier, a tub with a, a lid on it of uh, homemade butter, home-churned home butter. And, uh, and the, the woman's in her 40s, her name's Bryn, and a lovely, lovely woman. And, and I said, holy crap, what are you, Amish? <laughs> um, <laughs> So now uh, everybody is ooing and eyeing over homemade butter. Hmm. Now her, uh, another one of her grandkids, <laughs> Bryn's brother, owns a bakery in Chicago. So he's baked something about the size of this table that's bread. So now I'm thinking, holy crap, let's, here we go, bread and butter. <laughs> um, so there's a great uh, discussion raging about the butter and on and on and on and on and on. And uh, mom, who's hearing, uh, is not dependable. <laughs> so they hand the, the tub of homemade butter to mom, and she uh, opens it up, and it becomes clear that she believes it's hand cream. <laughs> now, I bet it does the trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, trying to get the dog off her. Um, now, I, I know it's not nice to poke fun at a 95-year-old woman, but then when we got that straightened out and the paper towels and everything, the, the homemade butter and the homemade bread, well, I call bet. the cops. I it, it was fantastic. I, I did hope that you could tell us a little bit more about what you do during an average day when you're not having to come into the city and talk to people on 23rd Street. Most of the day, I just sit around waiting for Ellen to come on. <laughs> Podcasts? <anything like> that? <laughs> no, I do a lot of stuff. We, uh, the family and I did a great deal of traveling um, this summer, and it was delightful. Uh, we were in Montana for about six weeks. We were at Martha's Vineyard for about six weeks. We went to Japan for um, uh, two weeks. Uh, and it was fun, you know, when you, when you, you live and die with your kids. And, and if your kids are having fun, you don't care. I'll tell you what I do miss. I mentioned the music. I, I, uh, for, for a year, it took me a while to uh, uncondition myself. Because when you, we did 6,000 shows. 
I took a shower at the same time every day. I got my makeup put on every day at the same time. I tied my tie every day at the same time. I was introduced to go out and do the warm-up every day at the same time. And this, uh, this clock becomes your, your personality and your way of life. You, you wake up and you do A and you work your way through the alphabet and then the next day you do it all over again. And I, I do miss that. Uh, and and I'm, by, by the way, I, I've had a lovely time here this evening. So this is all I need, really.